whopping 300. Jeez. Can you believe that back on June 20th, 2020, we started show number one? And now, three years and three years, and uh, I'm going to say seven months later, uh, there's Yona. Yona's popping in. We have, we have, oh, oh my gosh. I think Gary should be. We are there. live, Yona. We are live. We are live. Put Gary in the middle. Can you do that? Can you? How many do we need to make that Hollywood square? <laughs> nine, nine, right? Well, we nine. need a nine. We, we need some of the ancillary players. Get that. We, you know, we need else. nine. Well, Doctor D is Dr. supposed D. to be coming. Yeah. Aton G is supposed to be coming. The Kraz is coming. So, and then we could do the Brady Bunch song. And then we'll have Here's nine. Here's the story. Everybody, <laughs> welcome to Lenny Salvin Live, show number three hundred, and. Um, we are very excited. We, why are we doing show number 300? We, why are we doing this on show 300? Wow. Somebody asked me. Nobody knows. Because we must celebrate 300 shows. Uh, aren't we all the people number. that are usually... Aren't we all the people that are usually watching it? So who's watching it? <laughs> hey, don't, don't make fun of the ratings. I'm looking at it. The ratings, I'm looking at it right the ratings now. are good. They just happen after the show. They don't usually we, we get sometimes we get up to like 20 people while I'm going live. But then a couple of days later, 900 people have seen this show. Now, the question is, have they have they watched more than 30 seconds that it's I don't know? Where's Gary? We, Where's Gary? Are we getting resi residuals. Gary is driving around Queens. Is that correct, Gary? <laughs> yes. Gary, is Gary he frozen. froze. He froze. He's frozen. Okay. Yes, I did. Oh, no. Yes, but I hear you. One second. But, Come oh, there you are. Yes. What, what happened? There we go. There we go. Like magic. You even changed clothing. How did you do that <laughs> costume change? Am I unfrozen? No, yeah. you, you keep unfreezing and freezing. Uh, nah. You got to park next to a cell phone tower. Now, Uri Butler is telling ah. us all that we must go to schlockrock.com. That's what Uri is telling us. Hey, Lenny, Uri. Lenny, when was the last time? If Danny shows up, I, I have no When was the last time? The six, the original six were all together. Uh, Danny should show up. By the way, he said he's going to try, unless he's going. <laughs> unless he's I believe it was the restaurant in London. A long time ago. It was the restaurant in London the last time we were all together. Mark Steyer was not no, up. Not me. Yeah, I was not there. Mark wasn't there. It was Dave Hirsch. Nobody invited me to this this restaurant. No, we'll be in Israel. We were filming the first when, video. So, wait, no, come on. We we, we were together Mark. after Israel. No, we went to uh, we had a um we we went to a restaurant and uh, to Gary's brother's restaurant on Long Island. Oh, Chosen Garden. Yeah. Or Chosen we Island. And everybody Chosen, was Chosen Island. Island. Yeah, we all and we all had the lobster. It's got to be like that. <laughs> no, we didn't. Mark, Mark, Mark. And then you paid for I think, it. I think it was me, Schmoo. Wasn't it me, Schmoo, Rose? <laughs> I think uh, Joel Shade was there. Kenny Gr Mark Infield, what was Kenny Gross? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> what was what? <laughs> no, 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 oh. Okay, wait, wait. The, we're all doing inside jokes and nobody is understanding. Nobody the gets it. <laughs> I mean, okay. Guys, 30 years. It's got to be 30 years since that. A night or more, right? Yeah, I was in the nineties. Yeah, early nineties. I have a picture. Yes. You should see the shaitel. You know, not on us, but <laughs> but maybe next time we'll have shaitels. I don't know. Oh my goodness! Now, big, big hair shaitels. Let wait. I had a, prepared a whole bunch of questions for us. Don't you know the answers? And right, and no, Mark prepared all like, the answers. Funniest schlock rock moment. Quickly, whatever comes into your head. Lenny yelling at an old man. I knew that was coming up. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if it's funny, but we caught fire once. <laughs> yes, that was in Patchogue. Yeah, yeah, the, the menorah. During my menorah. Us. During my menorah, the curtains Ironically, caught on fire during my menorah. In the Aron, in, in the Bima, on the Bima. They lit yes, the candles. Was that... Wait, Yona, was that the Aron Kodesh or the Aron not Kodesh? Not Kodesh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you mean like the sukkah that was built inside of the shul? That was a good one too. It's correct for one hundred. Yeah. Lenny, where were you when you sl when you smashed a stained glass window with your keyboard case? Silver Spring. <laughs> <laughs> it's, got, it's got all the answers. Right? That was a good one. Yeah, that was all a right. good one. 
Uh, By the way, when, when do we go live? We <laughs> are live, everybody. <laughs> when we do we live. go live? This is as live as it gets. Oh, we're getting <laughs> old. We're all getting old. Mark, where's the, where's the doctor thing that you guys wear around your necks? Come on, He's man. got it. I had, He's I got had it. it. I had it before. By the way, Lenny, I didn't hear anything about this. <laughs> Who's that? Who's what? that? I can't Let's see. see. We can't, can't see. see. I'd have to zoom in. Have we been hacked? All right. It's Lieutenant Uhura. <laughs> it should be happy. I, oh, I, I it's Patrick. Patrick. I pander her in just for you. Move the car in. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. okay. There go. All right. Michelle Nichols. Yes. Uh, I'll, I'll Move the car already. You're going to miss Star Trek. It is inevitable. <laughs> yeah, no, but you're supposed to say, I've seen them all already. I've seen them oh, all. You've seen them all already. Now, yeah. Now, Sam from Chicago asked, did Yona was on Schlockrock? Yes, Yona was on Schlockrock. He still is, kind of. I think he's the only one who made it onto the what cover. Was, Isn't that right? Was that your ear what, or something? What, was, what, was, My what was the projectile <laughs> that hit Lenny in the head at Maimonides? In Boston. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Right. It was not there. Mm. I remember. I have no idea. What? A, what a wad of chewing gum. A Lenny, really you, you tell. No, it was not a wad of chewing gum. It was a, it, wasn't it a paper threw airplane? On the stage. It, it was a it was a paper airplane that hit that secret button right on Lenny's forehead that sent him into turbo overdrive. <laughs> and then I, what did I do? I believe I believe you may have lectured the crowd very nicely in how they should behave properly at a concert. No, I think I crumpled up the airplane and threw it back at them. Actually, that's what I think. Oh, well, Lenny, you have to welcome uh, Judy behind the glass. Yes, across the pond, Judy, Judy. Hertzfeld, our associate producer, here on show number three hundred. Hey, Jude. Now, Eitan G will be showing up at this house at ten twenty, which is three twenty, which is two twenty for Mark. This in twelve minutes. That's what he said. Anyway, where in your house? What time is that Pacific time? Uh, that would be uh, 1220 Pacific 1220 time. Pacific. And Zulu uh, Mark, time. What about Zulu time? Let's let's talk to Mark Infield for a second. Mark, give us your funniest schlock rock moment. My funniest schlock rock moment? Wow. There are a lot of them. Name the one that comes to what, mind. I will find one. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, uh, what we were filming by the, uh, by the show at our hotel and Lenny almost... Jumped his uh, death, not realizing how far down it was where he was sitting. Yes. Oh, I remember that. What? That was what not was funny. That? What was that? <laughs> that was, that was me, that was me that almost jumping moment. over a ledge, thinking it was like a, a, a like a thing, and it was all the way down, like seven stories. I I almost freaked out. It would have been legendary. That. I think my favorite Morganfield moment is when he handed me the Schlock Rock Trivial Pursuit card. Oh. Yeah. You remember yeah. that, Mark? Whoa. Yes, I but do. Joe Namath was on that card. I have that card still. <laughs> I laminated it. <laughs> you didn't believe it at first. I didn't believe it at all. I thought you, you were believe it? Something. I thought you were playing a joke. Yeah, that was a good one. What was it? It was uh, what style of music was the schlock rock song Yo, 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 Yamaka? Right. right. It was on the same card with Joe Namath. Yeah, and the state of Alabama, and yeah. So how about if we talking... take it back down? What about Jacksonville, Florida, when they yes. brought us down there to be the exclusive guests for a weekend, I believe, bar or bat mitzvah? Yes, and they made us sit between the kids. I don't uh, or meal. as they said, to sit with your fans. How did the meal come to an abrupt end? Anyone? <laughs> Now, wait, somebody just popped in. Let me just see I'm on who a that Zoom is. Call. Here he is. Well, look who's coming here. It's Dr. D. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, what do you know? LGM, Dr. D. Nice hat. Yeah. Very nice hat. Yeah, because this is the year, baby. <laughs> if they sign Alonzo. If they sign the Alonzo. The man who put Yerushalayim on the map. 
Oh, so I am. That's right. <laughs> top, the top 40 of the Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. That's it, baby. Dr. I'm wearing Dude. a special so jersey for you, Lenny. Oh. Very nice. Like hard yeah. to, to to look at him. It was hard to read that. What did it say? <laughs> Ted Lasso. Oh, oh, Ted Lasso. Oh. Ted Lasso. What's the what's the inside joke on that? What are we missing? Banter. It's just a jersey. That's all. Ah. Yeah. Jersey. What I, I can't see because you're tiny. Lenny, what jersey are you wearing today? Rangers. Rangers, baby. Good year. Good year. Well, so we didn't get an answer to Gary's question. How did that meal abruptly end? And somebody no. named Andrea Lee. Jacksonville, right? Florida. Yeah, yeah. So the meal ended when somebody threw a beach ball against my head. <laughs> <laughs> that was how the meal ended. Why is this all about stories of people throwing things at your head, Lenny? There yeah, I don't know. I, it must be a very lovable band, band leader. Now, I want to tell you this. It's my favorite avoid. schlock rock story is which one of you is Mrs. Goldstein? Oh my gosh! Wait, we gotta wait. We gotta wait for him, Mrs. Goldstein. It was Goldstein, Ginsburg. It was Ginsburg. Well, I changed Ginsburg. the name so that we don't Let's tell the community. Yo and I changed the name so we don't tell the community. <laughs> <laughs> we this was to, uh, to the real. Will change to protect the innocent, and then uh, we'll have to explain to the to the people out there. By the way, we're about to hit double digits. <laughs> you know, I watch all these shows, you guys. Does that include all of us? Slot <laughs> rock plays. No, with us, we're at 15 oh, now. We're, with us, we're at 15. Oh, my goodness gracious. Why don't you give <laughs> away some free merch? Well, I was gonna, that's, we're, doing on, we're doing that on Sunday to wrap Ooh. up, you to wrap up our fundraising month. Merchandise. We're going to do that on Sunday. To wrap up, we're going to play Name That Tune on Sunday for the crowd. What do, they, what do they win? Everything behind the apartment door at 2B? <laughs> no, they get it. They get, they, get, <laughs> Boulevard. No. they get a chance to be in the next kosher police if we ever make it. You know, I think I think the core of the band oh. all lived in that same building at one point. Oh. Yes, that, is, that is very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. The, rhythm, the rhythm section, you know. Up the block the from way. your uh, video store. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Right now we have everybody except for uh, Danny yeah. Block and on sax, the Kraz, who's supposed to be coming, and Eitan Jit, of course, who was in Israel, of course. <laughs> so Good for him. Just showing up at, at the house. And and we have Dwight is here. Now they want to know if I could put everybody's name on the picture. I don't know if I could do that. Everybody's you know, I can move you guys. Look at this. Watch this. I'm going to move Gary to here. <laughs> I don't see any of that going on. It didn't work. Here's a story. Right. I, I, I'm not seeing that at all. No, it didn't work. <laughs> so Andrew writes, I want to be in the kosher police. Okay. What makes you think you are so special there, Mr. Andrew? You need to be very, very special to be in the kosher police. Don't forget. Andra. Lenny, Andra. 250 grand. It's Andra, by the way. We don't, yeah. we don't get to see the... Uh, I'm not oh, I get the, the names. You're not seeing the names? No. No. But maybe there's a way. The, the chat. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. The the overlay in. Oh, maybe it'll that. show up. Let's just see. Ooh. Oh, what'd you just do? Oh. Ooh, I man. just made a chat overlay. So now anybody that writes in, you should see it. And also now we are at Whoa. we are a two blocks of three. What do you no, think I, of that? Is that no, better or three blocks of two? Three blocks of two, Larry. Three blocks of two. <laughs> right. Or, Depends <laughs> on your point of view. What? What's happening? Dr. D over there. All right. All right. Next from the next comment, we will see. All of us. Somebody oh, will vomit. Let's hope we Can't don't wait. wait. Too long. So Dr. D is in, Dr. D is in his car. Yes, I am. Are you also in? Where are you Dr. heading, Dr. D? Where are you driving? I am not driving because I, I don't I, I don't do interviews and drive at the same time. I I'm at work, so I just came out for a break. Sounds good. Now the question that I asked Gary and why well, I, I funniest schlock rock moment, Dr. D. Funniest schlock rock moment. Uh, funny as shock. I mean, there are moments that live in my head that I think of all the time. 
Meaning me and you on the docks? <laughs> okay, that's one. <laughs> um, don't forget to take off your rings. Is um, uh, is a moment that repeated many times. Um, Gary. Words to live are, by. Yep. Uh, that's something that whenever I hear the song and whenever I wash my hands, my kids already know, you know, don't forget to take up your rings. Um, yeah. Funniest schlock rock moment. Um, I mean, they were all fun, but funniest. I mean, so uh, what, what was the name of the guy that we rented the van from? Mr. Cousinitz? Mr. Cousinitz. Oh, Mr. Yes. Mr. Cousinitz. <laughs> so that was 1988. Wow. That was 1988, the first summer camp tour. 20 shows in like 20 days. Hey, hey, Dave, what are you doing over the summer? Oh, I'm visiting the camps. Oh, wow, you going to Poland? To Poland. No, the Catskills. <laughs> <laughs> the Poconos. <laughs> Very similar. Yeah. Showing up, uh, showing up, to, was it? Was, Not really, guys. Was it, what camp was it that we showed up and we wanted to know when the fast ended? <laughs> what fast? Seneca. That's Camp right. Seneca. Now, shh, don't say oh, that. Oh, sorry. Don't... Camp Goldberg. We don't want to tell them. <laughs> <laughs> what about the camp where the guy wanted wanted to introduce us to the rabbi? <laughs> and as we were munching down our burgers, he goes, you want to meet the rabbi? <laughs> and we said, sure. And he slaps on the albuquerque. He goes, I'm the rabbi. <laughs> I don't remember that. How do you remember that? Oh my God! Those were good burgers. I didn't remember that. <laughs> Gary, what? I think I conveniently forgot that, Gary. Those were buttery <laughs> soft burgers, my friend. <laughs> I don't, don't say that. <laughs> Poor Lenny, You're gonna be crawling out on behind a rock. We're not supposed to be destroying stock. We're supposed to be celebrating. <laughs> we're roasting. Celebrating. We're roasting it. Indeed. Roasting is what you're yeah, doing. Rock rock roast. Oh, well, by the I way, Lenny wants me to say hi to David Lenny, Goodman well, from well, Camp Pask. We have to say hi to David Goodman from Camp Pask. And Andrew writes, Andrew, not Andrew. Yes, we got that. We're good. We're all. Uh, hi, Andrew. We're we all make that, that mistake again. Andrew, of course, I know that you're not Andrew. I know that. Um, yes. Lenny, what yes. were the. What were the three topics you were not allowed to mention at that one camp in your show? One was God. Correct. <laughs> one was kosher. That is correct for 200. Now for the oh, Daily Double. Um, I think I could guess. I'm going to guess Shabbat. No, no I'm going to guess Mashiach. Intermarriage. A.K.A. A Messiah for 500. Correct. Wow. You're right. Mashiach was number three. Don't you dare! That kind of that kind of lowered our uh, what's the word? We played two hours straight of a Barbanel. No, what was the <laughs> opening song that night that had never been played before? Uh, Jewish Pride. Eh, 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 try again, because on the ninth of Av we cried. Oh yes, well it was Tamu seventeen. Right. My goodness. Wow. Fast Days of the Year was born on that night. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's So, Judy Hertzfeld writes, congratulations to you all on a wonderful, innovative, popular musical group. Who would that be? <laughs> that would be us. <laughs> yeah. We were, we were certainly... Andrew writes we in that you wish can't be uh, asked, Andrew. Which band was that? What are you gonna say? We were certainly popular. You know, behind-the-scenes stories. Len, I remember before the Gypsy Big Bash when the kosher police was created, we sat all night with a dual cassette recorder publishing these tapes, going one at a time. And we, we made we went to a Xerox place and made copies of the lyrics, handwritten. That right. Was, that was nuts. That I, I remember I remember all night just making copies of that first kosher police tape. Nuts. The big bash. Now we're gonna think about Marif. All right, we're done. We lost. Uh, well, we just lost Gary, lost the drummer. Well, here he is again. Here he is. I'm again. back, but I, I do You're have. A I have a trivia question. Okay. What was the name of the venue, aka the club in Manhattan, where we had the release party for Schlock Rock Videos Volume One? Oh, I remember that. Was I, was I invited to this party? I feel like. Uh, 
<laughs> you might have been in Milwaukee, like, ready? I don't think Pete you Bay, were. Pete Best or something. Right, uh, Howard Stern was supposed to be the MC, but he didn't make it. It was in the village. Was it yep. on a boat? <laughs> we played on a boat once. It was, not it in the was on the Upper West Side. No, upper West Side, side correct? Keep going. No clue. No clue. Delta House. House party. We were in the Delta House Club. The Delta House. The Delta House. It was, near Times, it was near Times Square, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, on the Upper West Side, right near Times Square. I must have been too drunk. I don't know. <laughs> All right, Samantha, what are you Samantha about? Samantha you know, right. is asking, don't, do you remember? It's out there. Do not listen to them. Do you remember <laughs> never Camp La Vie basketball? Know, I'm not a good drinker. Does anybody remember Samantha's question? Do you remember Camp La Vie basketballs? Yes, of course we do. Yeah. And we remember breaking the floor at one of the shows. That's right. Who was at that show where we broke the floor? La Vie? Yeah, the stage. The stage floor. They broke the floor. They broke the basketball floor because they were dancing so much. That was a good story. How about how how about how we became so friendly with the uh, border police in Canada, going from Seattle to Vancouver on a Friday? Yes, afternoon. that was a yes. I'm still using yeah. everyone's 18 minutes from that trip. <laughs> <laughs> Consecutive, right? That's how that was. Well, be. that was not our fault. It was probably Brains McSolomon who did it again. Lenny, why don't you tell everybody the story of that out, out in the listening audience? I'm sure both of them would love to hear. <laughs> Which story are we telling now? How we barely made it to Vancouver for Shabbos, and then Shabbos morning, Lenny Solomon goes out into the wilds of Vancouver to try to figure out where we are, only to leave okay, three, of his, three of his finest here's people behind. We had a Seattle-Vancouver trip. It was me, Gary, Yona, and Danny. Now, here's what, here's what happened. And we were driving we were a car? We were driving a, SUV, a Bronco. A SUV. A Bronco 2, actually. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yes. Yep. I thought it was a... Anyway, so what happens is we get... Plane lands on time. We left at like 7.45 in the morning from New York or 7 in the morning, whatever. We get there, 10 o'clock, and it's a four-hour drive to Vancouver. The people meet us in Seattle. They give us their car. We take the car, and we head to Vancouver. We got to within 40 minutes of the border, and there was a tremendous – it was actually not within 10 minutes of the border, but there was a 40-minute backup. By the time we got over the border – Shabbos was you're, you're missing, well, let's the, just say, you're missing the key part of the story. Why were we delayed at the border and the police decided they needed to look through all the equipment? Wait, because of our I, go first, ahead, Gary. First there, 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 there was there no, there was a big backup at the border and Len decides to get out of the uh out of the Bronco two to walk to the border and explain to them that we are religious. Hebrew Jews who need to bypass this line, to which I believe the man told him, get back in your car, sir. We then get to the border, finally, and they take a peek inside. The guy goes, instruments, tapes, yes, instruments, tapes, etc. He goes, it seems to me like you might be a band. And then he goes, yeah, yeah, we're a band from New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, oh, you're at the wrong board. You're at the wrong border crossing. You need you need to be at one that does work permits. And and, he, and Lenny oh goes, sir, it is our Sabbath as the sun is beginning to set. We we need to go. So they let us fill out some paperwork for about an hour, and then we finally get through. And the sun was almost down. <laughs> Take the story from yes. there, Len. It's a, it's a beautiful story. Well, we. Okay, so then what happens is we make it to a hotel. We didn't get to the community. We make it to a hotel in Vancouver. The next morning, I see that the shul that we're supposed to be going to is on Oak, is on Oak Avenue in Vancouver. And we are in a hotel which is on Oak Avenue in Vancouver. I thought to myself, oh, it's a straight, it's a straight ride. Somebody just popped in. Let me just see who popped in. Danny. Hey, Doc. Look at that. Hey, how's it going? All right. 
We're, okay, so the story is. I heard this is hey, the Danny. old men room. <laughs> so, okay. there, so I figured. Uh, let me start walking. It was a four mile walk. I didn't realize it was a four mile walk. G. Uh, was it Pee Wee Herman uh, there? We too, ended up. Some I ended form. up getting to the shul. I got to the shul, and uh, figured I'd eat lunch with them, and then Shabbos ended. <laughs> so I got back to you guys after Shabbos, and then we went and did our show. And that was now, the story. It, but in the eight hours that Lenny was missing, we thought up of so many different things that could have possibly happened to him and how we're going to call up Mrs. Solomon and explain it. Because I could already hear it. I would call her. She would say, hello. I'd say, hello. Who is this? It's Gary. Gary who? Gary Wallen. Oh! Gary Wallen. Oh. And so we spent eight hours thinking up all these great scenarios while Lenny was feasting on chillant and fried chicken. Yes, well, that was the that was the. Uh, I, got, story. I, I have a I have a Lenny story. It's kind of not really a Lenny. All right, so um, you know what? You guys remember I had a really horrible car that would break down, like on the Cross Bronx Express. I think Gary, you picked me up once in the middle of the Cross Bronx, and my car broke down. So uh, yeah, I would, fun. I would try to, <laughs> I would try to get rides with Gary. So we had a gig. I think it was in Schenectady or something like that. Um, and on the on the way to after he picked me up, we went to get like a, a box of pizza. We put it on the roof of the car and then we drove off from uh, <laughs> from New York to. It was in the winter, so me and Gary in the car. We drive all the way up to Schenectady. We get to the place where the Shabbaton's supposed to be. And uh, and we uh, get out of the car, and lo and behold, the the pizza's still there. So it's a Lenny comes out. It's a Lenny it's a comes miracle. out and doesn't miss a beat. Takes a slice of pizza and eats it. Really? Yeah. I don't remember that story. <laughs> I don't know what was in that pizza. But for you, it was, it was just but, another day in the hood, man. But, that but was normal else, behavior. It could be that's the reason that we have these weight issues, or I. <laughs> it seems like every story I've been here so far involves food. Lenny, do you remember no, we what, went to Einstein? What the Jewish bands do? Eitan G is in the house. Danny Block is in the house. How about that? Seriously, all I we don't need is the class, and everybody will be here. I don't think all of us have actually ever been together at one time, like ever, ever. What do you mean, like really? on stage? No. Like anywhere, on stage, yeah. not on stage. That could be. No, I think the we've all been together. What? Sure. Uh, with with a time, I don't with think not with Doctor D. Have you ever been with the original? Yes, he has. Yes, the original band and Aton G and Doctor D, all six yes. and Doctor sure. D and uh, Queens College. Show from JJ all together. Well, cool. Queens College was a good show. Oh yeah, what and Kraz was the MC. Oh okay, Kraz was the MC. Kraz was the MC. Yeah. As soon as he comes in here, the Queens College concert will be. Let me just see. So far, not. Mm -hmm. I did just write to him to come in, but could be he's in the middle of an important meeting. Danny Lenny, <laughs> Lenny started the show by saying his favorite, one of his favorite funny moments was, "Which one of you is is Mrs. Ginsburg?" Right, Mrs. Ginsburg. Danny, right. you want to tell that story? I remember that he he wasn't there, but uh, yeah, I said I am, and they said, it "No, he's, it's M. Ginsburg." Could you imagine they would have taken us off to jail this day? Now? I know it was Danny and I at the. <laughs> Been waiting for. I have no idea. We, we no, would end up on the still waiting to get paid list. back on those tickets. Don't worry. Eighteen hundred bucks. We got paid. Money. I got paid back on those tickets. You. I know. You got. I paid you guys. They paid me. We, of, course. of course. Yep. Or there was no show. We wanted cash up front or no show. <laughs> All the hey same. Gary, is that the original van from the summer tour? Yeah, yeah. I bought it from Mister <laughs> Cousin. <laughs> <laughs> it so, still has O anyway, O to Doctor D. <laughs> but you should know that when when we started performing, there was no security stuff. There was no when you got to the airport. Yeah. So and these and the communities would want to get miles when we flew. When we flew, That's that was the, this that. is the backdrop of the story. So they would fly us under other names. Oh. But that meant you couldn't go up to the counter, which I forgot to tell Yona and Danny, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, you mean so you me forgot to tell the guy in law school that, by the no, way, we're doing something completely illegal, 
this is how you have to handle it. Then you and Gary were also Mr. and Mrs. on that trip. Yes, we were, but we didn't go up to the counter. We went SkyCap. Yeah. So if you go SkyCap, yeah, Sky you can do whatever you want. You just, we were too late to use SkyCap. We, we used to use SkyCap. We, we were too late. Lenny and I were in the, Lenny and I were in the Mile Wide Club. <laughs> <laughs> now listen to me. Oh, that's this terrible. Is <laughs> okay, a lot of double entendres here, and I don't want to hear triple, it. Triple entendre. It was a Sunday. It was a Sunday morning. And we were flying to San Diego, and we had to get there by for a Sunday night show. I mean, we couldn't miss the flight. That was it. You miss one flight, you're done. Right. So you ended up getting. They made you buy first class tickets. Eighteen hundred bucks. And it so was at that time, point. Morning, it hang on, eighteen hundred bucks for a first class ticket in nineteen eighty eight. Yeah. Damn. Friday. Yeah. Friday. Friday. That's no. We had two no. Shows right. that Friday morning. LA. L.A. and San Diego was that weekend. We wow. Friday, right? Wow. Good for, you know. An, an encyclopedia an never forgets. Unbelievable. The two communities combined for this trip together. And San Diego booked the tickets. I was yeah. lucky I knew what city I was in when I was playing. I don't remember anything. There's like <laughs> one remember. long gig. I don't remember this. All right, Gary flew out. Gee, we have a, we have a funny Slot Rock moment. We are we are celebrating 300 shows, Eitan G. Do you have a funny? Can I ask you this: What does 300 Lenny Solomon live shows that started in a Zoom thing have anything to do with any of us? <laughs> well, you've all been on the show as interviews. You're all part of the Schlock Rock band. Uh oh, Doctor D's gone. We just lost Doctor D. Doctor D faded out. Back to work. Back and that's what it has to do. Now you're supposed to say we're off. all fans of the show. We are. We actually are. Fans there you go. A little plugging boy. during the show. That's right. Fans of the show. I Jeez. never miss the show. We have a shout out here. <laughs> we have a shout Did out you ever here see? from Debbie. Did you ever see a show? Says, yes, I have seen a show. <laughs> okay, good. In its entirety? Uh, no, no. I, don't, I, I cannot right. tell a lie. <laughs> You pop in for a minute. You see what Lenny's playing. Listen, we got up to as many as fifteen people. Well, you know, because I have time. what's the word I'm looking for? Well, there's like the seven of us. I mean. <laughs> right. That's twenty-two. No, that we don't count. This we is people count. watching from the outside. We have we eight calling. channels going on at the same time. Four Facebook pages, two YouTube channels, one LinkedIn, and one Twitter. Clearly, you need them how, all. How do you handle all. the whole crowd? I mean, right. And with all that, we have 12 years. That's so the yes, servers but... won't come tumbling down. <laughs> but the thing, you know, the thing is, is that we let them in slowly. We let them in slowly. They have to show ID. <laughs> they drip in. That's... One have... channel for you, one channel for you, and one channel for you. We have we have Debbie Debbie here call shouting in saying I remember that night but we've sold so many stories that we don't know what she's talking about so Debbie what now, which night, night do you remember about? Debbie which night All right Mikey Tevner's popping in from Harrisburg PA but he lives in Israel now Baruch Chaba Erev Tov All right And uh, oh this is Debbie Miller Hey Debbie uh, sure Gypsy she's a Gypsy girl. Uh, oh, Dr. She was D, talking about the big bat. I got to get the doctor on. He's back. She was talking yeah. about the big bat. Uh, he's back and he's gone. Yeah, he's back again. Dr. D. That's his hand. Yo. We got you. you we lost you for a little bit. Right? Debbie was at yeah. the Queen's College show. She remembers the Queen's College show. Ah. That was good. I was uh, on fire. That was a fun show. That, that was, was a big show. band, right? You had a horn section, like a full on. Yeah, yeah. Every, we had 10 piece band. The Kraz was the MC. Eitan G, JJ, Oliver Shalom, Dr. D. We were all there. Horn yeah. section yeah. with Jordan Hirsch and, um, and Bogey. That's right. Jordan Hirsch, David what? Bogner. What year was and this? Me. Four what year was it? 1962. What year was that? Rimberg was there, too, right? Wasn't Rimberg on that show? Yeah, yeah Rimberg might good. have been there, too. Yeah. It couldn't have been 88. He was, was there. It, before it, I moved? it would have been 90, 90, 91. I, I was know. there. Nah, I, I can look it up. You would definitely look it up. I have every show written down. It's on my website. You have every show written I'm, down? What? I do. Where? This, I have a 39-page 
uh, tour what, thing of every. What show. happened to Gary? Where is he? Oh, did we lose Gary? <laughs> Just the car. That's I remember the Brady Bunch thing. Gary got the Brady Bunch thing. Gary got pinched. Lenny, you really have a book that has every uh, like a, a, a comment about every show, ever? Not a comment. No, not it's a just comment. A dozen times, I put I, them all up. No, no. I also have the fees, how many people came, and who we were hired by. You get paid for that? Yeah. Wow. Well, and the, I used to make a living doing this. That was the question that everybody asked me when I was growing up. When I was growing up, when I was doing schlock rock. They always ask me, you make a living from this? That was the first question. Oh, no, everybody's the surprised. Second, from this, you make a living? What was the second okay. question they asked me, Mark? Uh, Danny? What was the second question? You guys know? Second question was, do you need permission oh. to go. put these songs yeah. on? Those are the two questions I got asked every place I went. And if the person who asked the second question was over 80, watch out. <laughs> yeah, we talked about that already yet. <laughs> He's on every geriatric post office in New York. I want it. I'm here, brother. Tell tell the crowd what you're doing here in Israel, Eitan G. I just came back from uh some town now near Oh fuck him that um I was barbecuing. That's why I smell like smoke. No, you don't. Smell, you're fine. I was that's wondering right, what that Jack. was. Yeah, yeah, that's why he smells like right smoke. next. Oh, fuck him. Good for you, man. Call a kavod. Good for you. I please. Those those guys were thanking us. Like, why are you thanking us, dude? You're you're the one yeah. doing all the heavy lifting. We're just lighting some coals and throwing some meat on a grill. I'll be back. You'll be you gotta go, Danny. Yeah, I got to do my job. I'll be right back. Somebody broke a. Cloud. All right. Very good. Uh, oh. Gonna be doctor. I have a guest in studio. What? This is Rabbi Goldstein. This is hey. Hello, hello, hello. As a kid, I grew up with you guys being my heroes. Uh, look at us now. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to, you know, shoot a little higher. I think. <laughs> right. Could have been worse. Thank you very much. Could have been worse. We we appreciate it. Rabbi, you can listen to all the music on uh, every music streaming service now. All 41 albums. All yes. 41 so who's, albums. Yes, I, so one second, I verified so it on iTunes. Guy, who's the tech savvy Mark, you guy on your end doing it? He does a show every uh, You do a show every week, right? What do you mean a show every week? This is how the second show of the, the week. Uh, how often do you this do the, the show? What's the schedule? You know, like. Uh, usually it's uh, it's usually it's Monday, Thursday. Usually, Monday, Thursday between the hours of eight and nine, and then takes a break until two and three. <laughs> no, with no, a, no. <laughs> it's Monday usually Monday night, Thursday night, eleven p.m. to twelve, and then if I start having guests and again, the, it'll be uh, Wednesday, Monday, drawer. Wednesday, Thursday. From top right, I'll have to top right drawer under the TV. Oh, we just lost somebody. We lost By the way, do you again. know Slil Vazemer had a comeback? I think. You guys can come up and plot something to make a real comeback, and you're going to become famous and sought after in a way like never before. I'm We're already famous. <laughs> <laughs> We're plotting. Let's We're plotting. Plot. And the only thing we're doing with our back is what trying is to keep it Stop standing that. up. Stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll be with you guys in a bit. Okay. All right. See you soon. See you soon. Where's the Kras man, Len? Isn't he just like? Can't you just scream out the window? He's your next door neighbor. I'm good. Yeah, he, he said he had a uh, he no, had some sort of business. Be on there. Okay, I got to go do my job for a minute. Mark Infield, yeah. where are you? Are you in New Jersey? Mm -hmm. I am. Now, when do you you're going to L.A.? Yeah. Isn't that correct? You're going to be in L.A. for for a couple I'm of weeks. Supposed to be. But uh, it's a to JFK. Unfortunately, I fell last Thursday and broke my leg. So. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, you fell and broke your leg? I broke, uh, you're an EMT, boy. Left fibula. Oh, my God. How, how long are you going to be out for? 
Why are you asking questions? Mark Skyer is a doctor. Mark, would you please uh, lead this conversation? I'm going to ask questions. How long are you going to be out for? Thank you. Why did you fall down? You're an EMT. Is that how that goes? Yeah. Two, weeks after, two weeks after the surgery, I'm going to be completely out of commission. And then uh, we'll go from there. I'll uh, probably have that. You got it. You got a pin. You got some screws. They're gonna. They're gonna put a plate. Right. So nice. Nice. Like a tinker. Feel good. Feel good, Mark. Feel better, Mark. I didn't know you Thank were. In, you. So are you on painkillers now? Clearly. What I need. <laughs> As Mark as needed. Well, Mike is having the right. Corey Butler. Listen to this, Mark. Mike is having the right. My most embarrassing moment was the time I played drums at Mark Infield's Sheva Brachos. He was 11 years old. Who is this guy? He was 11 years old. And Uri Butler writes, call on Tella. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh. All right. Well, we seem to have run out of the things to say. Oh, Steve. Never <laughs> run out of to say. Over. No. Hello. Gary. Gary's on the move once again. Gary, where where Hello. are you headed this time? He's driving Juber. I think Hello. he he robbed a bank. <laughs> yeah. I just step out. Step out for a second. I'll be right back. And then there's sirens. You know. What? Mishaps? All right. Andre wants to know what mishaps happen during tour concerts. It was that time they canceled our main Remember gig when in Israel. Florida, uh, we did that Florida show, and some kid came on stage and knocked the mic in my tooth, and it chipped my tooth. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah, you don't remember that? You know, that I we had to get it fixed up. You don't remember that? I don't remember that. I, I, because that happened to me, but I never chipped my tooth. But that happened to me so many times where, where the mic was pushed into my teeth. Yeah, that chick my, chipped my tooth in Florida for when the speaker fell on my nose. Really? I remember I was, we were packing up. And Trying to visualize. I was all I, I remember when we were driving from Memphis to Kansas City and we broke the back window of um, the hatchback. Joey Friedman's hatchback. Or it was Kenny Landsman's hatchback. The There's too much talking. I remember that one. That's good. <laughs> Means everybody's having a good time. Yeah. Remember that time when we were eating pizza <laughs> after the show? That happened. That happened that was 200 great. times. That was great. <laughs> or, or the Sufgani Ode. I was about to say, how many latkes did we have over Hanukkah? How many latkes? Oh, but do you remember the hot dogs we had at that one show? <laughs> That's all Back to the food. Yeah. Remember in the riders yeah, in backstage, they would bring us food after the show. We, it was cold pizza. I would. Do, we always said fruit plate, fruit, fruit platter. Plate. That's right. We never got a fruit platter. It was always, always. Uh, all the latkes. Pizza. We're in for all the latkes. Yeah, that's what we got paid. We got paid in latkes. You remember then we went to Bob's Country Bunker, and uh, they charged us for all the latkes we ate. Ah, uh, it was crazy. We played both types of music, country and western. I think you're confusing <laughs> us with a different band. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, my goodness. Uri says, I remember when Schlockrock came to my house. Yes. In Pittsburgh, I met a guy the other night, Uri, that knew you from Pittsburgh, and he knew Lenny, and he was the rabbi of the shul in Pittsburgh that we played when Aviva Portal was a, a shaliach there. So. Rabbi Daniel Wasserman is who you met. Yeah, cool guy. Yeah, yep. Lenny, didn't we watch uh, Mike Tyson bite Evander Holyfield's yeah. ear off in Pittsburgh after our concert? I never I, that might I have happened, but he I came didn't to watch the concert. <laughs> no, but we once had the fan. governor of Alabama at our shows. Oh, I have a picture with the governor of Alabama. We had the governor of Alabama come and sit first row at our show, and I played his kid's bat mitzvah when he was lieutenant governor. We were looking for Max Weinberg at some show one night, right? Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, but he didn't come. I don't know. Um, I think. Yeah, Robert Wasserman is in Ashdod now. I remember that, you know, Max Weinberg was supposed to be at one of our shows. That's right. And then there was some guy standing in the back, and everyone's like, is that him? Is that him? 
We seem to have lost Gary. We seem to have lost Dr. D. We seem to have lost. We'll come back in when we're ready. We let, right. we let David Fish off on a plane to St. Louis. Perfect timing. Yeah, me and Lenny for sure would come. And the New York guys. Yes. Depending on availability. I think I'm hearing some background noise. I think, I think Danny's, Danny's feet is still going. Yeah. Turn off the know, lights. Gonna, the well, mic yes, on. what I'll do is I'll shut his yeah, mic he's off. He's not there. Mute him. He just shut his mic off. Yeah. I wanted to say about the, Danny the that at every show that I went to with Danny, he would take a look in my mouth and he would say, "Hey, you got some periodontal disease there." <laughs> every single time. And do and I flush. I I floss. You know. I don't, I don't know. Woo. Oh, it's it's Gary Wallen's oh, brother, man. Gary Wallen. I reached my final oh, destination. You're in the house. Well, let's show you a little something. Hold on. Oh. Ah, here comes the fun. Couldn't clean up a little. We got props. This is clean, right. this is clean fellas. What is, what is that? that? Oh, Phoenix. Oh, with a no, that's the Jacksonville. Oh, it is Phoenix or is it Jackson? See the cactus? Phoenix. It's Phoenix. Not with a cactus. It was, a, it was, it was 105, but it was dry heat. Yeah. That's a dry heat. <laughs> oh my like a pizza oven. Phoenix was good. Where was the place where the guy uh took us out to the chicken coop and asked us which ones would you like to eat for dinner? Because he was like a San Antonio. Oh my god. No, I think there was San Antonio. He when I don't I don't know if you were on the, you might have been on that show, Yona, but all I, I can there. tell you is I remember I remember the he to San Antonio he, show and I said in, in your honor I shechted eleven chickens and the feathers are still outside. <laughs> and then I took a piece of chicken and I thought it was moving. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Oh, that's where the yeah, river was walk there, was. They had that river walk in San Antonio. Okay. Yeah. Where was it that directions were asked? Um, and uh, I believe it was, uh, I think it was an Asian, uh, there, there was an Asian fella that they asked uh, directions to when we were in, I think it was California. Is that correct? No? What? I'm not remembering. We were trying to get, our memory. well, then you had uh, Lenny in, I think, Jacksonville, Florida, asked a guy a question and he kicked open the door of his uh, pickup truck to give him the answer. I don't remember that. Wow, really? Gary, you're... Gary, you really have good memory. Well, it was every time I thought my life was going to end because of the band. <laughs> These are the ones that I remember. I'll never forget flying out at the crack of dawn to go play at Beverly Hills High School. Ooh, Beverly Hills High School. I remember that. You didn't end up playing. No, nobody got permission. <laughs> That's right. We're up and they kicked us out. That gorilla is, show. That's funny. I, I thought Remy was on that gig too. No? No. No, we did a morning and then a night, and we had a lunch with Mrs. Spielberg. <laughs> yes. Right. Oh, she should rest in peace. I mean, she passed away last year at uh, 97. Yeah, she was old. And she worked right up to the day she died. But we would love, my Uncle Gus, also, may he rest in peace, took me to that. To 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 uh, Mrs. Spielberg's restaurant, and um, the Milky Way for the Friday they had the chowder. It was the specialty of the oh, house. I love that. You know, uh, Uncle Music. Uncle Gus taught me my uh, my uh, olive bays. You know that? No. Uh, you don't remember what Uncle Gus used to say? <laughs> no. How he remembered the Hebrew <laughs> alphabet? <laughs> olive buys a vase at Gimbel's. Dollar basement or something like that. Oh my. Wasn't wasn't Uncle Gus the guy who told you you should talk with your tongue sticking out? The, 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 and that's, that's going right. to help your diction or something. What, what was that? Yeah, that's right. He taught me that was he was one of his vocal lessons, which I use to this day to try to get bar mitzvah boys to sing on key. It used to be so fun to go with Lenny in the car and have this going on. He are he are he are he are. <laughs> Well, you got to warm up. Listen, you know, Taylor Swift doesn't even speak before shows all day. Would you rather have that? <laughs> it, was that an option? Okay. Now, look, Debbie writes 88 Allen Street. I thought Lenny had it in for us the night oh, we recorded wow, the Jewish Debbie. Wow. Do you remember Allen Street? Do you remember that studio? Absolutely. And then we, no. brought in 20, we brought in 20 gypsy kids to sing the chorus, Jewish pride. 
Right. They did great. Yeah. Of course, I remember. Yeah. Right. That 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 the, the recording session for Jewish Pride for the basic tracks right afterwards because I think it was the middle of the night. I was driving back up to my dorm and my car broke down on on the uh, uh, FDR drive. Of course. And like really? it was like every car behind me was like. Thump, 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 thump. <laughs> <laughs> good sound and, and there's more to the story that i can't tell in, in public that but that was all i can know. say is if you ever think if you ever leave a place and you think you know i can wait till i get to my destination the answer is you cannot mark you wrote that was what you were someone, else, someone else's place that was your tune for that album yeah that was a that me was and joe and that, jo was song. Yeah. that was great that was a great that was song fun. that was a good one that was fun now, Mark, one gig that I had with you, Mark Infield, we yeah. we played in yeah, Deal. Man. You remember in Deal? We played that Shabbaton for the Hillel School. And I did not have a cell phone. And I also, my car, uh, I got a flat going home. I didn't get home till 6 a.m. <laughs> because we, I was on a highway. I didn't know what to do. And yeah. finally, uh, finally, I, I somehow got to a phone and uh, waited for a tow truck two hours and I showed up at the house at 6 a.m. Jillian was not impressed. <laughs> we got a, we got a, I went out, we went out and got a cell phone the next day. When has Jillian been impressed? She's always impressed. Oh. Always. <laughs> she loves Schlock. Yes, yeah, she does. Best. I remember, I remember, I remember years before Lenny became a grandfather when, when Jillian affectionately called him, Zadie. Uh, I believe it no, was it at Camp Zadie. Monroe. Yes, but it wasn't Zadie. Yeah. It was another. It was another name. <laughs> I remember it as Zadie, because she knew you were destined to be the best. And I am Zadie today. There you go. Same here. The Zadie is in the house. But I was, I was taught, you know, we, we got to do some anti-aging stuff, I think, Mark. Mark Skyer, you have any anti-aging stuff for us? That's what he's taking right now. Anti-aging stuff. Yes, we must go back 30 years in time. Lenny, next That's... time you're in New York, they've opened up stores all over New York that can help you. <laughs> yeah, you get a shoe polish, <laughs> you know, get that going there. Well, I will be in New York take from off January your glasses, Everybody looks a little younger. Yeah, so. Next week, I will be in New York next week. January 24th. Got some gigs left. Got some gigs. I got one gig lined up right now in Rockville, Maryland, February 9th, 9th and 10th at Shabbos at Jewish Rockville Outreach Center, Jewish Rock. And then we are looking for others. We will get others. But I wanted to do a Super Bowl weekend in um, in Nevada you know, Las Vegas, so that I could be there for the Super Bowl, which is February yeah. 11th. Now it doesn't seem like that's going to be happening, but uh, that's okay. Maybe guys, there'll be other Super Guys, Bowls. this has been really great, but I got to go, so it's it's nice to see you. All, all. right. And, Mark, uh, thank you very much for coming. We should Good do it more you, often. Mark. Maybe show number 400. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll celebrate again in another 100 shows. <laughs> all right. Talk to you later. How do I get out of here? I don't know. I'm going to take you off. Ask Uncle Lewis. Here we go. What does Uncle Lewis do? <laughs> oh, Danny's back. One second. Danny's back. One out. Danny, one in. you there? Oh, no, he's uh, he's out also. Hey, Tan Jean, when are you heading back uh, stateside? Uh, January 23rd. Oh, same like me. No, on the same flight? I'm, leaving the I'm leaving the 23rd at night. I'm leaving the 23rd early in the morning. Oh. Okay, so yeah, 24th early. Eitan G was spotted in my hood at uh, the one and only Chimichurri. Ooh. Oh, I love that yeah. spot. I know. Last time you called me, I met you there when your car got a little d dinged up. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yes, I was was it a rental? I was your bad call. It was not a rental. It was my own vehicle. And there, I found out that the guy worked at the gas station next door. And what he does is he scams people by kind of just parking in front of the back so you, so that he pulls in right when you're backing out. Whatever. So what did you end up doing? I paid the guy cash and 
done. There was no damage to my vehicle, little dent to his, and we called it, we came to a financial agreement and called it a day. Uh, hey, Tanji, all right. always keeps his cool. I was there for the whole thing. That's it. That's it. You roll with it. Roll with it, baby. All right, everybody. Well, we're coming to the end. Are we? How long are these shows on your list, list there, Len? What? Any more questions on that list? You had one big question. Yeah. What was your fun? I had a couple of questions that I, I can't remember them now because we were too busy telling stories. Oh, one just came in. Any... Len, one just came in. What <laughs> is the CCV on the back of your credit card? <laughs> 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 yes, Andra, definitely be in touch via possible concert. Definitely. We will be happy to play. Woo! Um, we will be available. We are available. Yes. Look, it's a different time, ladies and gentlemen. It's a different place. It's a different time. It's a different place. It's a different world. And that's why we come to you from cyberspace 300 times over the last three and a half years to fight truth, justice, and the kosher way. To defend truth, justice, of the way, not the fight. And Andre, you know, all of the music is now on all music streaming services. Yes. And as Yona would say, be careful out there. <laughs> I would. <laughs> and get yourself a quality meal. You said it on the kosher police on the twice. Kosher Jack. police as the chief. Yeah. yeah. As the oh, chief. You, you are the, the chief. chief. I don't forget that. Yeah. And Mark was Mayor Meyer. Yes. How do they do it? How did they do? Mark, is that a Schlockrock t shirt you're wearing? We can't see it. Oh, Whoa. he's got the Woodstock oh, tour. Oh, yeah, Woodstock t shirt. And he still fits into it, which is unbelievable. He's a gym teacher. He keeps in shape. <laughs> no, he's a he's an EMT instructor. I thought he was a gym teacher. Aren't you nope. a gym teacher? Avi Clark is saying more kosher police when? If I can get the crowds to write a script. We will have the Kosher Police 3. In the meantime, you can listen to the Kosher Police on all your music streaming things. <laughs> Tell them about it. <laughs> hi-ho, hi-ho, it's off it's the show, not, hi-ho. Right. Speaking of T-shirts, nice T-shirt, Aton. Oh, yeah. Do you have any others, Love by that. the way? What's that? Do you have any others? Because there are about 846 social media images of you, and it's the same shirt. It is actually not the same shirt. It's one of six different shirts in active rotation. <laughs> that was what we used, know, by the way, that was what we did on the first Schlock Rock tour. We actively rotated them. We wore it on Monday and sold it on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Avi, those were the days. Avi Clark does not believe in your uh, streaming services, Aton. He says he's a Schlock He says I'm a Schlock Rock C D boy. All right, good. Go buy the CD. No, the CDs to buy the CDs. You well, which Avi, one do you want? Avi, Avi lives in Bay Chemish. He could just call me. Got, Avi, I have 10 boxes in my garage. Tell me which ones you want. <laughs> That's in LA. I have mine transferred to eight track. <laughs> what about beta? Be, be, no, uh, eight track. Oh, my goodness. So uh -oh. that's right. Uh -oh. Buy it. Have your friends buy it. Who's buy Aztec? It and throw it out. <laughs> Aztec. That's the press. That that's the press. Avi, I have many of them. Almost all of them. I think the only one I don't have is uh, Party Time and like those new ones. New School, New Shul. Uh, new Shul, the Big the, Six. The Kosher Cake. Lenny, the Kosher Cake was Lenny, are you gonna put up? Are you going to put up the original Schlock Rock song from Kesher? Uh, get your Kesher stuff up. Yeah, no, I even know. remade it. I even remade it, Yona. Why have yes. we not put up the Kesher albums on the uh, streaming Why service? Why not? Yes. That's, uh, they should be up there. The partners have to all agree. It has V. Please will say okay. Gary. Okay. Three will say okay. You can do it. Gary, I love you. You're so funny. I miss you, Gary Wallen. Miss you too, Yona Lloyd. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I miss you guys. Miss you guys. We miss you too, Any. Rudy, I want to make a TikTok video of you singing schlock songs. I want to see it on TikTok. Uh, and TikTok. tag Taylor Swift. TikTok is a problem, you guys. It's a problem. No it's all a problem. Why? Lenny can't get Why it on his flip phone. 
<laughs> Someone's got to call. Oh, up, man. We love you too, Uri. Uri, I want you to make a TikTok video with a schlock rock song. Didn't Uri play drums at a Pittsburgh concert? No, Mikey did. Mikey, Mikey Oliver. Mikey played drums. No, Oliver played drums. Right, right. Yes. Right, right, right. He played in a Barbanel. That was when oh. we stayed by the judge and Nina. Yes. That's right. That's right. I love you too, Uri. Lenny, Ooh, Harris, Lenny I, I know you have the book. Go back to that Pittsburgh show and see if it was the same night of the Evander Holyfield Mike Tyson fight. I have this vivid memory of us watching that. Okay. Movie. Good. Yona, you find out what date the Evander Holyfield fight I'm was. And we'll find well, we could we could find that that in two seconds. That's right. Right. If we want to know. We'll wait. The, and it's the it's the same fight where he bit his half that, took half a zero. I think that was yeah. we watched it after the concert. It was a Saturday night. How, how could we watch it? It was on. It was on pay per view. It was on. It? Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm, Reg- I'm checking that. It was on regular TV. So I have it here as uh, it was Holyfield versus Tyson two, and it was um, June twenty eighth, nineteen ninety seven. You have your book with you. Uh, yes. One minute. Let me just see Let's what see. I got here. Well, where were we? Settle down. Settle down. I got to go to my... June 28th, 1997. That was a... Uh, 1997. That was a Saturday night. Ah. Uh, so, got that part. 1997? We would have played June 28th in Pittsburgh. Think about that. Shabbos went out like... Eight o'clock? No, nine June twenty eighth would go out like so maybe, nine. Maybe nine, it was nine. the night before the show. Maybe the show was on a Sunday and we were there for Shabbat. Okay, that would make sense. So June 29th would have been the show. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute. I'm Yisrael Chai, M Tuner. Yes, guys, which were your favorite songs to play? Oh, great question, Aton. Great yeah. question. Great question. Gary? Um, probably say between uh, Barbanel and We Didn't Start the Fire. Wow. Uh, strong Desire, I meant, of course. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Funny, I can't. Mark? Oh, I don't know. I I, I, I like the, the older stuff. Uh, that's why I like the stuff on the uh, Lenny and the Schlockers. Uh, Tape. Oh yeah, you know Steve Bill was just talking about that. I think my favorite song to play was Moda Ani." Now I love playing that. Song. Oh, oh, that was a good one. That was a fun song. That Gary, your yeah. Sirwin Vega monitors really made that song come alive. They certainly <laughs> did. It's so funny. I have no idea what you're talking about. You know, he had this <laughs> great monitor on stage. It said Sirwin Vega. And it was, I think, the first time I actually heard the, the band, you know, in the, in the monitors. Great. Yeah. Well, when we started out, we didn't, I didn't really know much about sound. It was in Bergen County at some venue, a really nice venue in Bergen County. They have like a big concert venue there. Are you talking about Ori Denori Auditorium in Hackensack? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. All right, Len, did you did you confirm? I can't confirm because it, it's not on the website. It's I'm gonna I got it I got it at uh in the other room. Hey, I'll have to look Len, <laughs> I'll let you know. Here, Matt? Yona, go to jewishrapper.com and go to tour dates. And then no, he said it's not the there. Night. Lenny says it's not there. On his site, on my site, which is much more organized <laughs> and cataloged, you can see it. Well, that's because Aton G, let's just say, he, I have to keep things organized and OCD. You're so funny. Len. Uh, we go to tour dates in 1997 and see if. Uh, oh, Andre Lee. Excellent. Yes. The Boston concert. <clears throat> we had a lot of Boston concerts, but the one, we had one at Boston University. Oh, we were all, we were all wearing the Boston shirt. I bought them at halftime at the, uh, at the 7-Eleven down the street. Yes. That was one of the best concerts ever. That and guess great. what? I am still friendly show. with Tammy, who went to Simmons College right near Boston. You. you oh, Debbie, send things to my love. I miss him. 
Good, great guy. Uh, by the way, Len, I see we've gone past the hour mark. Are we doing the full half hour? Are we going to get the uh, No, no, no. <laughs> we, have to know to it's it's full we have to close it up. We have to close right. it up. Eitan G, your <clears throat> website goes 1992, 1993, and then for some reason you skipped to 1998. What? Yeah. Hey, Uri Butler, thanks for the shout out. We love you too, man. You're an awesome, awesome fan of all Jewish music. And Uri. And you, look, and you look great in the newspaper at the Haas concert. Saw that picture. And Uri, yeah. Uri wants your information. Mark, Uri wants your, your info. Just like, should, should we put it on the ticket at the bottom? <laughs> no, I, I don't think so. But uh, I want to tell everybody this Sunday, 7 p.m., next show, Israel time, 7 p.m. Israel time, 12 noon New York, 9 a.m. West Coast. So I feel like this is Saturday Night Live. Are we going to do this again on 420? I don't know, but best luck are gathering since the 30th anniversary party. Oh, he was at the 30th anniversary party. <laughs> yeah. Yona, is that chip uh, on your shoulder? <laughs> this is Mr. Schrute. Hello, Chip. <laughs> Anyway, guys, it's been great. Thank you guys all for coming. For all of our listeners, we, we had a minion watching us most of the time or more. How does it end? There's Lenny Solomon Live. Let's everybody do it. Lenny oh, Solomon God. Live. No. Show number 300 is in the books. Yep. Keep on schlocking, everybody. 300. We are Sparta. <laughs> be good. Be cool. We are, be good. We are be good, be cool, be Jewish. See you soon. <laughs>